Hi, this is Mike Schmitz, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Book Tracker, which is a handy utility for iOS, iPadOS, and macOS that allows you to keep tabs on your reading library. You can keep track of the books that you own, log statistics on your reading progress, create a wish list of books that you want to read, and much more. It's a simple little app that's really well done and helps solve a specific problem, which is managing your reading library. Whether you prefer physical books, ebooks, or audiobooks, Book Tracker can help you keep tabs on everything. In this screencast, we'll be taking a look at the Book Tracker app itself for the iPhone, iPad, and on the Mac. First thing we need to do is download the Book Tracker application from the iOS App Store. And this is the one right here, Book Tracker Bookshelf Log. Now I have already downloaded this application previously, so I'm gonna tap on this icon to download this from the cloud. If you haven't downloaded this yet, it'll say get. There is an in-app purchase associated with this, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. And the first thing we see is a list of some of the features or the things that we can do inside the book tracker application. So first we can add new books by searching online, scanning the barcode, or manually adding those books to our library. We can import our library from other apps and services so we don't have to start all over. We can manage our library, keep track of the books that we purchased, and consult them easily. We can manage our wish list for books that we want to read. We can store our library in the cloud, which allows us to sync it across other devices. We can collect quotes from the books that we read and display these either in a quotes collection inside the app or via some widgets, which we'll look at later. And there are reading challenges that we can set up to help us follow through and hit our reading goals. So for example, if you wanted to set a goal of reading 24 books this year, you could set up your own custom reading challenge inside the Book Tracker app. For now, I'm gonna go up to the top and tap on Done. Okay, the next screen we see here is the in-app purchase screen. This unlocks some additional features in Book Tracker. So if we wanted to keep track of an unlimited number of books, we would need to use this in-app purchase. Or if we wanted to change the app icon, import and export our library, or the big reason for me to support an indie developer. So this is a $4.99 US dollar in-app purchase. I've already completed this in-app purchase. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom and tap on restore purchase. Tap okay on this confirmation screen and then go into the application. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.